Hello everyone, welcome back. For all of you who are returning, thank you very much. Anybody uh, new out there, uh, welcome to my uh, video. Um, my videos are uncut, unedited, raw footage, and typically first person view. And because of that, they're uh, they're very long videos, so uh, feel free to skip through. Um, if there's more than one video on this, uh, I'll put a playlist in the beginning. If not, this is it. Then um, you can you can skip on to the end and get the final uh, uh, review or whatever you want to see or get out of it. Um, this episode here, uh, what I'm going to do is um, one of the things you, I, I can do with uh, my compressor since I have them link, linked together is um, turn up the valves, the regulator valves, all the way on my 21 gallon and basically what's going to happen is that the one motor will supply the air for both of them. But in order for me to make it useful because I can't, you know, some things I don't want at 130 or 125 psi, I want them at 40 or 50 or 90. Um, I've decided to go ahead and uh, put a regulator at the end of uh, my hose and then from here I will attach a my swivel hose here and then that way I can link up uh, anything I want to. I can link up my my air ratchet um, with a swivel that kind of helps. It's a little swivel part and uh, you know, I can adjust the regulator at the point uh, before it goes into the, the air goes into the tool. So uh, that's one of the things you can do. What I've been doing now was uh, basically um, tying or setting the PSI on both uh, compressors at the setting that I want. So when they when they push out, they push out equally, pushing outwards to wherever the tool I need out through the hose um, but the, both the motors have have to run in stages which that's how I set them up but uh, there's some times where you know uh, just having them open all the way and having one motor because I have one cut in at uh, 110 psi versus 90 psi on the other one where one motor will just be constantly running and um, I don't have to worry about the other one um, tripping the breaker, which has happened if you've seen one of my other episodes here. Um, so uh, it's just another way of doing it, which I think for for this particular application, what I'm doing is I'm going to be using a lot of the uh, spray gun, so that I know it's going to be helpful in that. Um, I'm, I'm also disassembling my trailer, um, so I'm using a lot of the air ratchets. Um, so that's what I'm going to be doing today. So uh, I'm going to cut out now and I'm going to assemble this um, and then you'll get to see uh, how I did it. So let me uh, cut out and I'll cut back in. Uh, another thing I want to mention was uh, I was fortunate enough on Father's Day uh, sale that I got, a, I got two of these and uh, basically uh, they were 99 cents, so uh, this is coming in very useful. So if you uh, ever see one of my uh, in-store flyer episodes or my catalog coupon episodes, um, you know, they're worth watching because you could s there's some really good deals that go on that don't need any coupon. And, uh, you know, sh you should take advantage of those because right now this is like almost $3, 250 well, this was 99 cents for Father's Day sale, so this is going to come in handy for this particular episode. So I'm going to cut out and finish up. All right, everyone, I'm back, and uh, here's how I got it done. It's uh, that was a hose that leads to the compressor. It's a uh, looks like a male plug going into the regulator right here, um, and then another. Uh, male plug on the other side which goes into the coupler which I attach to the swivel hose and then the coupler on this side and there's a coupler on this side as well so got two couplers on each end and so they quick connect 
and uh, this is what I have. So basically I can adjust it and I open the valve fully to the uh, air compressor so I can set at 90 and then I can quickly adjust um, like let's say I don't want to have it that fast I want it a little bit slower so it doesn't vibrate as much uh, I can adjust the, the regulator down to 50 what you want to do is you want to check it because it yeah see you want to check it see there you go You always want to check it because uh, I know this is not that that accurate. So right here it says about well it's going up to 100, but okay. Let some air out. I think when you let it out, it's not that accurate. There we go. There we go. 90. So that's one way I can do it, uh, and it that may be you know a way I can just uh, utilize the compressor as much as I can um, so eventually I'm going to go ahead and do that with the uh, with the uh, spray gun as well so uh, I'll be doing that with the spray gun uh, uh, here for this one so I'll apply this on the spray gun as well and see how that turns out so um, let me uh, cut out and cut in when I do the spray gun all right, welcome back, everyone. I got the uh, I got this on uh, for a uh, spray gun, but I'm having issues because uh, if I turn it on, um, right here, not right here, but right here, and you can't unscrew this. see the kind of dilemma I'm having it's just right here it's just a loose part I don't even know why this is even here it doesn't um, and this is a part of it so it doesn't even tighten or do anything so I think I'm going to return this um, this isn't working so good but that's alright, that's why I got both of them. Um, what does work really well, and I think uh, this is a better thing to get anyway, is the uh, just to get the regulator here on the swivel. And so this is a much better deal. This is a much better deal. This, this one here, in my opinion, the the spray gun air adjusting valve which is is this minus the minus the plug and the coupler um, doesn't seem to work it's just uh, seems loose right right here this at that joint right there so uh, don't get don't even bother with this 
as you saw in the video. Um, maybe I did something wrong, I'm not sure, but I can't imagine how hard it can be uh, to do that. So, um, but this one here, and this is item number uh, 68223, the air compressor regulator with gauge. So, this is probably the, the better thing to do, get because I can actually control the air pressure a lot better from here. Let me see. Let me see. Uh, yeah, turning it this way. There we go. You probably have to test it out by squeezing it a little bit. I don't have anything here on the other end. Don't have anything here on the uh, other other end of this, but uh, um, I could I could easily put my air gun in here. Matter of fact, I will. be cleaned out a little bit. Hmm. Well, something's not right on this. I probably have to clean it out. But at least it... I can make it work. Let me, let me get the other air one, air gun. Mini detail spray gun. Yeah, there you go. That works. Excuse me. And then uh, here, I could just. Just a regulator here to wherever I want it to be. Okay, so this is a spray painting. This is ideal to have a regulator here at the spot where you're going to be using it. So I'm just going to have to clean out this gun. It could be a little clogged, leak somewhere. Oh, sorry. So anyways, uh, that concludes this episode, uh, oh, goodness, um, feel free to comment, like, dislike, uh, even do a video response, uh, feel free to go on my Google Drive for, for all these coupons, um, it should be under uh, descriptions, just click on the show more if you're on your computer, it should pop up, just follow the link if you're on your, um, mobile phone or some other device it may not show up but I know for a computer it does so anyways uh, stay tuned to, for the next episode bye now alright I'm back and uh, just took it apart a little bit and wanted to see what it was uh, I didn't take anything out but I guess it just kinda had a lot of maybe water calcium buildup I do use latex on this but there we go Okay, so that was the update on it, anyways. So, uh, okay, let's, uh, let's go with that. Thanks.